This is the pot that I'm going to transplant my clematis into and it's also light coloured so it doesn't absorb heat because clematis like their roots cool and they also like a lot of room for their roots hence the reason for the big pot and it needs to be well drained so I'm going to put some more holes in the bottom to help with drainage. So let's go. and they come with a sticky backing so just stick them on I'm going to stick them on around the edge stick four of them on around the edge so that it's slightly raised from the ground Now you're probably asking why do I plant my clematis directly into the ground? Well I could do that, it might be okay, but the soil around here is very heavy in clay and the, my lawn kind of slopes downwards so a lot of the water collects down here and uh, I think that it would be just too waterlogged for the roots and clematis don't like their roots sitting in waterlogged soil so here's the reason for the pot. I'm filling this pot with part compost and grit and the grit will help the drainage because clematis plants really do like good drainage. Uh, plant food as well. Relation shrub. So this is slow release. So slow release plant food. You can also add perlite which provides drainage and an extra benefit is it does retain moisture as well for your soil. You can see just how root barren that, that was being in that part. So it's not very good for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to like prise these carefully, so spread them out a bit before I put them in the bigger pot. It's got some good roots here, so that's really good. but they're all, they're all being like twisting around the bottom of the pot, I've got so look, it will go a lot further down. I'm topping up this pot with fresh multi-purpose peat-free compost. It's always a good idea every year to put new compost in your pots uh, up to about a third full. Uh, to keep your plants really vigorous and healthy.
Clematis plants like something to grow up against and if you haven't got a fence or anything nearby you can use bamboo canes which are relatively inexpensive from your local garden centre but make sure these canes are secure in your pot and don't move with any wind because that could cause some damage to your clematis roots. I have a problem with squirrels digging, digging soil up my pots but also adding a bit of gravel helps keep the, the roots cooler as well. But this is like white. Quite a light coloured gravel. You can get a bit of string, I've got a bit of old string here. And you can uh, just encourage them to grow up the canes. They should do anyway. And on the left is my clematis last year in June 2022. And I'm hoping this year I'm gonna get a lot more flowers and a lot more vigorous growth. So please subscribe to find out how it goes. And if you like this video, please thumbs it up, share, and thanks for watching.